Good morning, everybody. Well, today's gonna be a different day. I am going to try to do a vlog. I have been trying to do a vlog for quite some time, but honestly, on the weekends, I typically will try initially and then forget to film whatever we're doing that day because on the weekends, I try to spend time with family. But I will try today because I personally love watching vlogs. So you may enjoy it as well and see what a typical weekend is for us. So I hope you enjoy. Do you like my hair? I don't know if you ladies still do this, but I always do this every morning when I get out of the shower. A must when you move to Portugal is buying house slippers. In the States, I never wore slippers, nor did I wear socks in the house. I always wore, I was always barefoot. Coming here, oh my gosh, you need it because it is really humid inside the house or at least this house. And without it, your feet will literally feel wet. Like when I wear socks and no slippers, my socks will be wet. It's weird. Cause it's not like there's a puddle of water on the ground. It's just really humid. So everything's a little bit damp. Sorry, I took the towel out and my hair is like crazy, but I always air, let it air dry. I don't usually put heat on it. So this is how it is for the next few hours. All right, so I'm gonna show you the inside of my windows right now. So it's like 8.30 in the morning and I'll tell you how humid it gets. Look at this. So this is one of my windows and look how humid it is. It didn't rain last night, or at least I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. And that is how humid it is. Let me just show you. Guys, from the inside, From the inside, it almost looked like you took a shower here. You know, like so when you get out of the shower and steamy from your shower, and then you could do that with your mirror. Yep, that's the inside. Like over here is the other side where the sun shines in, and you could tell it's not as humid. Sorry, our clothes are outside. It's not as um, humid, or at least the watermarks isn't there because the sun already um, evaporated all of the moisture. So you can see under here where the sun hasn't hit, you can still see that. So something to keep in mind. No school today. No school today? But we have camp, which is going to be fun because we're going hiking. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Oh, look, daddy made some crepes. Smell this. Smell it? Mm -hmm. Does it smell yummy? Mmm, smells like crepes. Mommy, can you spin my Okay. All right, so I know coffee is super cheap here, but my husband drinks so much coffee. Anyway, I want to show you this this uh, machine that we got. So what I usually do is cafe au lait, and then I press start, and let's let it go. And there is my cup of coffee. It probably took maybe a minute to actually brew everything, but I usually have it on... I have it brewed while I am making breakfast and it was super quick and there's so many different functions. If you do more drinks, there's all these different options, including uh, hot water because I drink a lot of tea. It's a perfect fall day, crisp air, not too hot, not too cold. So we're going to be dropping these kids off at camp, camp. and we are now going to probably head over to San Martino and I'll show you around. We are in Salir de Porto and well Salir de Porto meets San Martino Bay because the bay is right in front of us. Um, and this is the infamous sand dunes where in the summer times the children usually go up these sand dunes and then roll down them. So they'll walk up all the way up there to the top and then roll down. My kids did it and they loved it. But it is kind of a hike and a strenuous hike because you're literally having to walk through the whole thing of sand. So that's the sand dune. And then I believe the bay comes out this way because there's some water here, but the bay is over there and then San Martino is over there. So it is um, pretty close to each other. So we're gonna be walking along this sidewalk that wraps all the way around and I think it takes you all the way over to San Martino, but we will see. angle 
middle of that sand dune. So again, they walk all the way from the bottom to the top and they roll down. And I'm pretty sure the water comes out this way. So this should be all filled with water or a good chunk of it because the water's drying up right now. So all of this. at the end of the boardwalk and it takes you over here to a beach so it doesn't quite take you to the other side but it's nice if you want to head to the beach Whew. i am not wearing beach attire because i have my sneakers on but we will continue but look how nice and peaceful it is here and it's about i think high 60s right now it's almost in between like I'm kind of chilly, but I'm not chilly because when you're out in that sun, it really warms you up. But I did bring a jacket, which I'm not wearing just in case because in the shade, it does get a little cooler, but it's also the end of October. So what do you expect? <laughs> We were down here, they walked up this little staircase over here behind me. And I will say, if you want a good workout, walk in sand, because it's a good workout. Anyway, look how pretty, look how pretty that is. give you perspective that over there is Salir. we walked all the way over here and there are the sand dunes and remember there's a boardwalk that takes you all the way around and around here then you walk up the stairs to come to this boardwalk over here which is where we are and there was the beach that we kind of walked along and then here is Sao Martino de Porto. So hopefully that gave you a good idea how close Salir is to Sao Martino. I always get those two confused, but there you go. warm that people are still sunbathing outside. So for those that want to check trek out from Sylvia to San Martino with a three-year-old, just note that going there isn't too bad. Coming back is where it becomes a bit of a doozy. So here I am carrying her all the way back to Sylvia and we're taking like the quote-unquote easier route but it's longer so just note that. I would say maybe bring a stroller, but you don't wanna you don't wanna bring the stroller on the sand either. So it's a it's one of those things that if you are a three-year-old is good at for walking, like walking a mile and everything, or well, more than a mile, probably a couple miles, then it's a fun thing to do with kids. But she's good for maybe a mile or two, but then she gets tired success now she's walking again so maybe it was just she was tired for a little bit oh it is hot now and it's only been maybe i don't know it's still like 11 30 not even 11 30 i could have definitely worn a t-shirt because walking and that sun it gets hot and this one here she's doing much much better now Oh, thank you. Keep it in your hand, mommy. Those terrible threes, I'm telling you. She just picked me a flower. So cute. So I forgot to mention, Salir de Porto and Sao Martino is only about maybe a 10 minute drive from Caldas. So it's definitely a nice day trip to come up here and enjoy this area. 
and well I would even say like a quick day trip because you can come here and have, pretty much do everything you need to do in like half a day and then head home also the train does come up here and I believe a train ride up here is like a euro so you can always hop on the train it's about a 10 minute train ride because it's super quick other than that you can always drive up here and there is plenty of parking at least right now I don't know how it is in the summertime but there is plenty of parking so after a long long walk we decided to have lunch here at Novo Savo what's this place called it's a hamburger place in San Martino so we drove over here and we're gonna have some lunch right oh she's not having a good day today She's super tired now from the walk. <laughs>